I've started off by printing out my pattern and taping the pieces together. And now I've got it pinned onto my fabric and I'm just going to take my rotary cutter and trim around the edges. I have finished cutting out my fabric and I've cut two of the body pieces, one in a solid gray and then this one with the pattern and I have pinned them right sides together and I'm leaving this collar open as so I can flip it inside out. I have also cut out um, two of the straps in the patterned fabric and two in the solid gray and I will start by sewing those together along three sides, leaving just one short edge open on each of them. I've pinned my strap together. So I have one of the patterned pieces and one of the solid pieces. And I'm going to sew along the three edges, leaving the one edge open, and I'll make sure I backstitch at each end here. I've sewn the second strap in the same fashion, and now we're going to turn both straps inside out. Next, we're going to take our Velcro, pull it apart. And I am using a two inch wide Velcro that's three inches long. And I'm gonna attach this one um, to the pattern side. And I'll attach the other one to the solid side. Now that I've pinned my Velcro onto my fabric, I'm gonna sew around all four edges. Now that my straps are finished, I've laid out my two body pieces that are pinned together and I've brought my pattern over because it has the guide for where the strap is going to be located. So I'm going to make sure that my pattern side is up and I'm going to put that in between the two layers with the Velcro going farthest inside. push that farther in so that way just that very raw edge is right here and I will pin that into place. I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. I'm putting my pattern into place and making note of where the strap should go. And once again I'm going to make sure that my pattern fabric is face up. 
and I'm going to slide it in between the two layers. And now I'm going to pin that into place. I've completed sewing around the perimeter and I backstitched at each end. I used about a quarter seam, uh, a quarter inch seam allowance. I left this part open, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it inside out. And I can use pencils to sharpen up these corners. Now that it's right side out, I'm just gonna tuck in this collar about a quarter inch. Now I will sew my collar closed and then I will add the Velcro onto the sides. Going to put one Velcro on here and then the other one on the solid side. I have completed my reversible dog coat. So I sewed the loopy side of the Velcro on the patterned side of the fabric, and then the soft side of the Velcro on the solid side of the fabric. And that's consistent with how I did my straps too. So you just wanna keep it consistent. Then the collar I sewed along the outside here. And when you put this on, it's gonna fold down and hold itself down. So it will be a nice little collar to the coat.